My name is uh, Jeffrey Weber. I'm a medical oncologist uh, at the Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa, Florida, and I'm the uh, director of the Donald A. Adam Comprehensive Melanoma Research Center of Excellence here at the Moffitt. The statistics about melanoma are that it is one of the, t one of the cancers in this country that continues to increase year in and year out. Uh, I've been in this business for at least 25 years, and every year it has increased in its incidence. In the U.S., it's 57. That's the median age of onset. In our institution, because we're in a state with an older population, it's maybe 59 or 60. There are nearly 80,000 cases a year. The death rate for melanoma estimated for next year is nearly 10,000. It continues to increase, and again, one American every hour, it is estimated, dies of melanoma. Most melanoma patients are diagnosed when they feel a lump or a bump or have some symptom. The second most common way is they're in for a routine exam with their oncologist or a surgeon, whoever follows them, or in some cases, primary care doc, and they have a physical finding or a complaint that leads to the diagnosis. And finally, surveillance scans would be the other way we detect metastatic disease. If you go back 10 years, you're looking at a median survival of less than a year with only two or three possible treatments. Today, you have more options. It's gratifying to know that uh, there are many more companies, individuals, investigators, scientists interested in melanoma today 